statement from Virgin Hotels, and if they don't reach a deal by tomorrow morning, some 700 hospitality workers will strike outside the hotel property. Here to explain what is happening uh, from the union's perspective is their spokesperson, their secretary treasurer, uh, Ted Papa George. Uh, Ted, thank you so much for being with us here on Arc Las Vegas. Really appreciate it. Um, it seems like every major property ha has reached some sort of agreement with your members. What's the holdout with Virgin here? Well, not just every major property, but also the individual. Just yeah. some, every property we have contracts with on the strip, like the Westgate, the Sahara, and the Stratosphere, have all signed our standard contract that the Virgin Hotel is refusing to sign. But not only that, it's just far away from that. It's unfortunate, and these workers are being forced on strike. This company is the contract has been expired since June 1 of 2023. Yeah. They sent to the press, if you remember, a last and final offer over the summer of zero wage increases for the first three years. Um, and they haven't moved off of that since. And so all of that is just a bunch of bluster. You know, every company has no money in negotiations and then suddenly they find it. But when you bring a billion dollars to Vegas to renovate and buy properties, you got to bring money for workers too. We just, we're not going to have that here in Las Vegas. And so workers are prepared to fight. And you're representing those workers, Ted. If you can walk me through it a little bit. What, what are your workers, what are your members dealing with uh, on a daily basis there at Virgin Hotel uh, that has led them to this point to demand that new deal? Well, they're dealing with the same thing that all of us have been dealing with. You know, the inflation has been through the roof. The cost of housing, rents are up 40, 45 percent. Uh, groceries, uh, you know, are they're paying the same uh, amount for groceries at the store that every other worker in Las Vegas is. But the idea that somehow this company is going to build a fabulous new, you know, palace uh, on the backs of these workers without giving them their fair share. Look, these big hedge funds, they're used to running over workers everywhere in this country. But when they come to Vegas, they got to deal with a real union and a big union. And we're going to fight with these workers and we're going to support them uh, to be able to get what they need for their families. Now, we offered to bargain with the companies. If we're going to sit down with them. We're not optimistic. We don't expect much out of that. And so the workers are very tough and they're willing to fight and they're ready to uh, go on a strike tomorrow at five o'clock in the morning. And and that'll be as long as it takes to get a contract, and we will support them 100%. And I want to ask you about that because as we, you heard on uh, just a few minutes ago, folks, uh, Virgin put out that statement saying that they were fully committed to finding a fair resolution during these negotiations. They're alleging you and your union uh, have not put the property proposal to a vote or responded to other proposals. What do you have to say in response, Ted? Yeah, actually, our workers you know, 95% signed a, a written petition rejecting the company's last and final offer and delivered it to the company headquarters. Um, so you can't uh, take any more uh, of a vote than that. But look, at the end of the day, it's just outrageous when you are putting zero, zero, zero on the table mm -hmm. and then uh, blabbing to the press about, uh, you know, un bad faith bargaining. It's just typical union busting tactics. And look in Las Vegas, if one hotel and one company like this destroys the standard, every company in Las Vegas is going to think they can do the same thing. So it's about the virgin workers, but it's about the standard. With 90 years we've been here in mm -hmm. Las Vegas, the culinary union, and we built a standard that uh, workers have fought for. And you know the virgin workers are going to fight, and their brothers and sisters at the other properties are going to support them. Quickly, I just want to talk about the timing here because this strike deadline is set for tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. People are spending their hard-earned money to come here to Las Vegas to, uh, to stay at the Virgin Hotels, especially with the, the F1 Las Vegas Grand Prix next weekend. Some of them already have rooms booked at, at Virgin. Um, what do you say to those guests? Well, what we say is, is that the beautiful thing about our customers has come is that, look, they support the workforce here too. They know the workers and there are plenty of options. We are actively communicating with the customers of Virgin to take their business elsewhere during the strike. 
And the wonderful thing is there's lots of options for those but it might not, But it might not be so easy, Ted, and, and I'm sorry to cut you off. It might not be easy, so easy to, the, to them to cancel those reservations, having to deal with Virgin Management or try and spend money elsewhere on such short notice. So what do you say to those who will keep their reservation at Virgin Hotels? Yeah, it's, it's actually not that hard to do. It's pretty easy to get reservations moved, and we have a whole program to assist folks with that. But at the end of the day, Folks that stay there um, are not going to get the Las Vegas top hospitality from the professionals that they deserve. And the ball is, it's that the fault is on the Virgin Hotel. Look, all they're being asked to do is to step up to the plate and, and, and support their own workforce the same way workers have been supported at the Sahara, the Westgate, and the Stratosphere. And look, that's just a fair standard. And look, hopefully the company comes to their senses and yeah. does the right thing. But these workers, they're being forced on strike and it's just, uh, it's unfortunate, but we're gonna back them up. We know we'll be all over it. If that, if that strike does indeed happen tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. As your, as your team has called for it, you can learn more about the Culinary Union 226, culinaryunion226.org. He's Ted Papa George, the uh, secretary treasurer, the union spokesperson. Thanks so much for being with us here this morning on Arc Las Vegas. Oh, thanks. Ted. You guys are terrific. Really and appreciate really it. Appreciate, uh, appreciate the it. time. Thank you very much.